the good character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he would sit with his companions and they would sit with him and our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not feel that he was above his companions so he would sit with them he wouldn't sit like a king or a ruler rather he would sit between them and he wasn't distinguished from his companions sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is how our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was humble in his character and his mannerism so much so you have narrations where individuals who were not familiar with the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning individuals who were not from mecca or medina individuals who were not from mecca or medina but had heard about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they visited al medina and when they would approach the companions they would say where is muhammad and in some of those narrations they mentioned that i i didn't expect him to be sitting amongst them like that so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was very humble he sat amongst his companions he did not sit in a distinguishing manner he did not elevate himself above them nor did he wear distinguishing clothing something that could show that amongst these people that are sitting this must be their leader no they would come and say where where is where is muhammad so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was very humble even so much so you have narrations that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered the sahaba to walk in front of him a king or a ruler in general they would walk behind him and he's walking in front of them the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said don't walk behind me for verily allah azza wa jal i'm paraphrasing it verily allah azza wa jal has designated angels that protect me from the back so walk in front of me so even the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was walking behind his companions so they would walk sometimes they would be on his side and sometimes he would be at the back and they would be at the front he told them don't don't walk from behind me so that was from the the humbleness of our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam likewise the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't have guards he didn't have guards he didn't have bodyguards our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not have bodyguards one day you have a narration that abu musa al-ashari Abu Musa al-Ash'ari and his name is Abdullah bin Qais he said ya Rasulullah I want to be your bodyguard today and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't have bodyguards but he said ya Rasulullah I want to be your bodyguard today meaning I want to stand in your presence and anyone that approaches I tell you this person is there and you give them permission other than that no person could just come up to him sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was Abu Musa al-Ash'ari and that was the hadith where Abu Bakr came and then the, he said Abu Bakr is here the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam let him in and then Umar came Umar is here the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam let him in and let him know that he will enter Jannah of a calamity and so that was Abu Musa al-Ash'ari so that shows that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't have didn't have bodyguards sallallahu alaihi wasallam